All right, so here we are. We are three weeks away from SummerSlam, and <clears throat> last uh, week's episode consisted of The Rock becoming number one contender to the Intercontinental Championship, Mankind turning face, and then being attacked by Psycho Sid. APA and Legion of the Doom end up brawling with each other. Uh, Beat the Clock Challenge was announced. Three matches. Those are the three matches tonight. <clears throat> and then uh, Brian Pillman talked about his injury. Let's kick it off with I think Ultimate Warrior first and so. All right. So Ultimate Warrior defeats Psycho Sid in 13 minutes by pinfall. So. So that's the time to beat for The Undertaker, Shawn Michaels, Triple H, and Owen Hart. Okay, after that, we get a interview segment. William Regal is talking to Eddie Guerrero, and he's making fun of him. And then Eddie Guerrero has enough and just hits William Regal. <clears throat> just, uh, this feud's been going on for a while. So one more and final matchup. It's going to come to a head at uh, SummerSlam. Following that... Brad Sean Farouk, APA, challenge Red Warriors to a match. And <clears throat> Red Warriors accept the match, saying they're ready to take on any challenges and all comers. Following that, we get The Undertaker defeating Triple H and beating the Warriors' time at 12 minutes, 30 seconds. So Shawn Michaels needs to beat 12 minutes, 30 seconds in order to win the match. So here, there's a 32-second difference, I think. So you could build uh, anticipation or uh, just the crowd getting like, uh-oh, is he going to beat the time by having like Triple H rule out of the ring, take his time, stuff like that. Undertaker gets it. Following that, Mankind calls out, like I said, and then, uh, you know, because like I said, attacked Mankind last week. So Sid comes out. After his loss, he's pissed off because he lost earlier, and they end up brawling. Following that, we get a contract signing with Ken Shamrock and The Rock. So, <clears throat> Rocky tries to attack Ken Shamrock. The attack fails, and Ken Shamrock ends up hitting Rock with the belly, a belly suplex. Rock rolls out of the ring, runs away. All right, so here we are in the main event. It is Shawn Michaels versus Owen Hart. And he loses, he doesn't, he wins the match, but it's by, <coughs> excuse me, by, uh, it's by count on, because Owen Hart looks at the clock on the Tron, sees, okay, he only, we only got 10 seconds left, I'm not going to win, he just rolls out of the ring, and takes the loss, because he he's not going to be able to face his brother, and he doesn't really want to face his brother, at SummerSlam. I mean, if he wanted to win, I think he'd take it. But I don't think the fans would buy Owen versus Brett right now. And then after him continuing from his uh, promo last week, Brian Pillman attacks Owen Hart. All right, so I'm thinking a good rating here. Another solid rating. I've been bouncing from 80 to 83 the past couple weeks, except the pay-per-view. Uh... I'm not, I'm not like, unsatisfied with that, but I'm not really satisfied because WCW's making run on me. So, <clears throat> I'm thinking I need to step it up maybe because Stone Cold hasn't been on the show in the past couple weeks. So, I think Stone Cold's going to make his return next week. Shit. So, WCW, <clears throat> oh, no, it's Triple A, once again defeats me by an 84. It's because of Sting and Hogan, man. That's it, pretty much, and Luger and Vader. Yeah, so, they beat me again. It is tied 6-6. Six, six. I don't like losing, and I want I don't want them to uh, get a winning streak on me because they got three in a row on me. They have yet to have a pay-per-view, so after that, I'll show you. Their pay-per-view is probably going to be this Sunday. And, uh, <clears throat> till then, it's WWF 6, WCW 6. Thank you for watching, and have a good